we are uh, going to finally pick the contest winner for the I Don't Deserve This Contest. Um, before I pick the actual winner, I want to read some of the runner-up ones because they're frigging absolutely hilarious. So first comes from Nathaniel J. Burke. Despite disqualifying myself by not carefully reading the instructions because he commented on Facebook. Yeah. Hell, I should have watched the video, but no, I'm a fucking know-it-all. Yet my taste for self-flagellation has been whetted, so in the interest of my continuing public humiliation, the reason I don't deserve anything is I watched the Netflix Motley Crue movie all the way through, even though I knew it sucked within the first five minutes. I mean, what's wrong with me? I could have stopped at any time, but I had to keep going. I'm sorry. First off, yes, that movie did suck if you read the book, and I'm a huge Motley Crue fan. I have no shame in admitting I love 80s hair metal, but... uh if you read the book, the book is fucking amazing. But the, the movie was not bad. It wasn't it, bad. It wasn't bad. It's not it was great. Entertaining. It's it's not on the same level as Bohemian Rhapsody no. or Rocket Man or uh, It's a Netflix and, movie. Yeah, it's an it there's a reason that that one <laughs> for a biopic. I mean, in all honesty, it never should have been a movie, it should have been a miniseries because they compressed everything in it and uh, if you haven't read The Dirt by Motley Crue, but you've seen the movie and you liked it, or you remotely liked it, or you even thought that it probably could have been better if it was done different, go read the fucking book. The book is absolutely fucking amazing. It's one of the things that really solidified my love for Motley Crue. So, um, uh, the next runner-up comes from Jordan Ashby. I don't deserve to win because I was doing a Kazi Park course, and one of the guys turned up wearing a Rurock helmet which was bad enough, but it gets worse. Before the course starts, he tells me he usually wears sunglasses in the spring instead of goggles. And when we go to ride, he pulls the lenses out of the goggles so the goggle frame was still sitting inside his Jerry Dome protector with no lenses in, and puts his sunglasses on. So he was rocking a Rur Rock helmet with goggle frame and sunglasses inside the goggle frame. It was a new level of Jerry I had never seen before. Anyways... I don't deserve to win because he was actually a really nice guy and I got along with him. I don't even deserve to live being friends with such a high-end Jerry, let alone winning free gear from the Angry Snowboard. You don't, you're don't. you not winning, but that I just wanted to share that story because it's absolutely That's pretty amazing. Um, the, the next runner-up comes from Dave Kuralewski. I don't deserve this board because my loser ass was getting a knobby and in the middle of this... The girl tried to start talking, so naturally I tell her not to talk with her mouth full. She looks me right in the eyes and says, it's not. <laughs> <laughs> well done, sir. <laughs> I died laughing. That's why this is a runner-up. But, you know, That's there, good. there's... Before we get into, like, the actual winner, so many people told me they're fucking skiers. Like... I, 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 I don't get... If you're a fucking skier, why are you watching this? Like, fuck off. Go go over to New Schoolers or yeah, whatever. Yeah, if you're a snowboarder and you thought you were funny by saying, I don't deserve this because I'm a skier, you're not. Not. Uh, we had, like, six people do a top five list. We had one guy do a top ten list. Um, a lot of people made mention of Giltson, The Good Ride, Rotational Bindings, and other bullshit. But I don't think they got the satire and witty nature that I was looking for. Mm -hmm. So, instead... Um, you know, I got I got a lot of bullshit that was just lame as fuck. Got a lot, got told to fuck myself a lot more, but um, you know, but here here's here's some that I think definitely deserve the runner up. Like these guys were close, but they didn't quite nail it. So first one goes to Nicholas Bogard. I don't deserve this board because I live in Missouri. There are no mountains in Missouri. I literally watch this channel to vent my rage at the fact. That with my fellow other pissed off snowers. I ask stupid, meaningless questions that have no application at all in my life. I'm never going to buy the board, you recently reviewed. I'm probably never going to join Angry Snowboard or VIP. I literally snowboard 10 to 15 days a year. If I won the board, my feet would probably be too big for it anyways. I don't know what I'm doing with my life. I don't deserve this snowboard. I don't know what you're doing with your life. You live in Missouri. I mean, that's misery right there. Mm -hmm. But I... But... Def Lauren that I mentioned at the uh, intro of this podcast is from Missouri. So there is hope for there's you. There's hope for you. There's hope for you. She, I mean, she won a gold medal at the Deaf Olympics. I mean, she had to be deaf to go to the Olympics, but still. She won a gold medal. She won a gold medal. Uh, another one comes from Dre Hu, who 
This guy's a regular commenter. He's like, ha, easy. I don't deserve shit because I'm a piece of shit. I've never won anything, ever, because life hates me. Fact. I recently lost my wife and kids because I'm a piece of shit. The only thing I'm worth a shit at is snowboarding, and I'm even starting to wonder about that. The only thing I do deserve is a kick in the ball, so feel free when you see me. I'll go fuck off now. Peace out, you lucky snowboarding fucks. <laughs> I, I really want to know more about the wife and kids. Yeah, I know. Like, did like, you lose them, like, to a divorce? Did you murder them? Or did you literally, like, lose them? Yeah, did you did just, you, like, 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 leave them somewhere? Go to the amusement park and they just disappeared and you went, oh, well, and went home? Like, what happened? Yeah. You know, so... Uh, another runner-up comes from Kevin Kim. I don't deserve this board because I paid MSRP for a full Burton setup. Thank you. You're supporting snowboarding. Yeah. With people uh, without people like you, we wouldn't exist. Mm -hmm. I also works I work like a slave at a computer desk, but I pay thousands of dollars a, every year to fly or drive out to the middle of nowhere so I can basically slide on powdered ice for a few hours in a day. I literally don't need this board because I have the money to just buy a setup, but my entire existence revolves around knowing that I will never be as good as the people I follow on Instagram. And the only way I can cope with that is to throw money away and tell myself, yeah, that'll do the trick. Yeah. <laughs> this is so self-deprecating. The ending is the kicker. That's like why this made it into the runner-up pile. Yeah, that'll do it. <laughs> like, like, yeah, yeah, let me just feel better. You know what'll make you feel really good? Joining Angry Snowboarder VIP. There you go. And getting stickers every month. Yeah, you're throwing the money away. Throw yeah, it away you, for you, us. Why don't you just throw it at us? Yeah. You know. Um, let's see. Oh, oh. <laughs> then we get to the next runner-up from Papa Jay, the Mountaineer Kid. I don't deserve this board because I'm fortunate enough to already have a sweet quiver, and I wouldn't even ride it. And if I did ride it, I'd probably hate it because, well, who names their child Afron or Everin? Whatever that Lefevre dude is named anyway. <laughs> In fact, I don't deserve this board because I'd certainly just give it away to some loser who can't seem to get their poop together eat enough to get their own decent gear. Out of pity and disgust. <laughs> that loser better ride with me and buy me a beer, though. I'm undeserving but also thirsty for a beer at about four runs or noon. Whichever comes first. <laughs> This guy got the idea that like I don't like people drinking on the slopes that are just doing it. He, like he he nailed a few things. It's, it's just so like I love my my humor is very self deprecating and it's it's very much pessimistic because I'm a realist. It's it's not that I am pessimistic, but it's it's that. You know? I just like that he doesn't deserve this more because all he's going to do is turn it into beer. <laughs> right, <laughs> that's great. Right, uh, the final runner up comes from Kevin. Oh, actually, no. I got. I forgot. Uh, the third final runner-up comes from Black on Black Seven. I don't deserve to win this board because I'm a piece of shit, lifty, and mammoth. I have a sarcastic, smartass attitude all day long, constantly roasting guests and calling out Jerry's left and right. Sometimes I give people the wrong directions and send them to the other side of the mountain when the lift is about to close. I steal coffee and donuts too, then complain about the prices of them. I'd say my most undeserving quality is that I take a 10 to 15 minute shit at the end of my day before clocking out. I find that if I do this five days a week, I make an extra 10 bucks a week to fuel my caffeine and nicotine addiction just a tad bit more. See, I don't, I don't believe in smoking. I don't believe in addiction. So I'd be, you know, enabling your addiction if I gave you a board. And we can't allow that. Plus you're a snow carny and you know, I just can't give you hope. You've got to just you just got to lose at life a little bit more, <laughs> you know? But kudos to you for shitting on people in job. You sound like someone I'd actually hang out with. Yeah. Like, if, when I come to Mammoth, you and I are going to go make some laps. The final runner-up is Kevin Roger. And this almost, this literally almost won, because this one's so good. First off, fuck Instagram, Snapchat, and all the other bullshit. I'm old and only use Facebook like the older, old-ass people my age. That's so true. I've had this annoying ass thing for over 25 years where you have to get up early, be nice to assholes, and fix their broken shit. The upside to it is they give me money every week, which is the only they give me money every week, which is the only reason I show back up on Monday. But the weekends, those are mine. Fuck the wife, the kids, the family obligations. This weekend warriors heading to the slopes. This rad dad weekend warrior doesn't need any charity boards. What I need is more time to ride. I only get 20 to 30 days in a season, so take your 100 plus day season. And that board and shove it straight up your ass. 
bitter much? I love it. You're like, fuck you, kids. I'm going riding. It's not like I'm going to get my kids into riding. No, fuck you. Stay with mom. This is my day. Mm-hmm. That's that's why. But the uh, the final, the winner, is Bob Fulowski. Congratulations, Bob. Congratulations, Bob. You're going to love this one. Since Kevin is known for being the condescending know-it-all, oh, no. <laughs> I don't think anyone, let alone someone who rips as hard as me, deserves this board. Who'd want to ride aboard some red grandpa's been hauling down the mountain? Thanks, I'm old. <laughs> no, I want what Kevin rides since he clearly knows what he's talking about. <laughs> and clearly is in all caps. Like, clearly. <laughs> I don't think anyone should be out here trying to cop a board from a guy who thinks dry humping his snowboards is going to magically tell him it shreds. Besides, I've got my whole life ahead of me. I'm still in college and broke to boot. The last thing I need is a death sentence because some angry snowboarder sends me his broken deck. No thanks. I can't afford that. I'll leave it up to Craigslist, eBay, and Facebook Marketplace to find another Arbor, Arbor Westmark record. I've already spent five months searching for one. I could spend another five trying to find one at a killer price. Being my dream board and all, I can already see the day I throw it out. I throw out my noodle banana to some of the best riding I'll ever have here on the ice coast. In all seriousness... I don't think I deserve this board. I do not think I deserve to lose my snowboard sticker virginity to some rad grandpa if I were to get the board. I'm too good for it. I rode blues for my first day on a noodle banana with decade-old lashed boots, jerry-rigged according to some guy's boot-fitting 101 tips. I'm on my second season of riding. I've probably ridden 10 days total ever, and I switched to a hot knife I copped for 150 bucks after being ridden twice, thanks to some review featuring John Cenacorn. I'm going to be riding at least three times as much next season as I have my whole life. And well, I'd love to do it on my dream board, I can carve trenches on my hot knife. I'm sure Kevin would understand. <laughs> Getting my dream board this, this way would be like throwing a sheet of ice on an otherwise perfect powder line. Consequently, I'd probably be another angry snowboarder if I had to deal with Averin's leftovers. Well, you know what, Bob? You are dealing with my fucking leftovers. In fact, you're fucking getting my board, which, by the way, I pretty much stopped riding after 30 days on it. It's got one little dinger right there in the base and uh, some surface rust because it was sitting at the bottom of a board stack in the back of the car for a couple months while everything else was dripping on it. And I lied to you about the fucking K2 bindings. No. In fact, you're actually getting a set of Union Stratas. Uh, They have about five days on them. I think you wrote them, what, four days? I wrote yeah. them, like, one and a half. So you're going to get those. It's a size medium. It'll so probably fit you. It'll probably fit you. Um, main, main reason is um, I'm pretty sure those K2 bindings are actually not safe to ride anymore. I think the plastic has started to turn chalky white. So <laughs> it's usually a sign of wear and tear. But anyways, Bob, you need to get a hold of me, you dumb fuck. I'm going to send you a message on the YouTubes and uh, – you're gonna you're gonna get my board. I'm gonna send that to you. I'm gonna load it up with stickers. I'm not gonna sticker it. I'm gonna let you do that. But you're gonna get angry stickers with it. Maybe if I feeling really generous, I'll throw in a t-shirt. Who fuck knows? I got all this. I got apparel everywhere in this place. But basically, that is why you win. For everyone else that entered, I really want to say thanks for trying, but. Most of you didn't try that. Most of you did not even give a fuck and gave some of the worst comments I've ever seen. But we'll have another comment or comment contest to win a snowboard, probably. I don't know. I'm trying to downsize a bunch of shit I have, so whatever doesn't get donated to the Shred Foundation is going up for giveaway. But I don't know. What do you what do you think? Did Bob deserve to win? Absolutely. (laughs) And you know what? You're not getting one of my leftovers, but I did at least ride the bindings. So, yeah, yeah, a little bit. Yeah. Uh, anyways, um, <laughs> I don't know. I, I think uh, <laughs> I think those of you that actually grasped the um, <laughs> the concept of this contest were great. The 500 and like 92 other people. Yeah, not so much. Not so much. Uh also to that social justice warrior that got butt hurt about my toxic masculinity. I hope your boyfriend's just plowing you out tonight. <laughs> you sound like a douche nozzle. I really don't give a 
fuck about you.